Hi, my name is Steven Chen. I'm the product manager at Cypress for Easy USB FX3. Today, I want to show you a quick video demonstrating the benefits of FX3 in 3D imaging applications. Easy USB FX3 is the industry's only general purpose USB 3.0 peripheral controller. It comes with an on chip ARM9 processor with 512KB of RAM, capable of driving high speed data intensive USB 3.0 traffic. What makes FX3 truly unique is its GPIF2, the second generation general programmable interface. GPIF2 is a 32 bit bus that can connect FX3 to virtually any system, such as ASICs, FPGAs, and MCUs. For imaging designs, GPIF2 can connect directly to any image sensor with a parallel interface. This enables our customer to build very simple USB 3.0 cameras while saving component cost and footprint. In this video, I will demonstrate a 3D camera design enabled by FX3. In this case, the GPIF2 interface is connected directly to two monochromatic image sensors that are self-synchronized. Each image sensor captures a stream of video data and sends it to FX3 using GPIF2. The two video streams are then packetized into USB 3.0 traffic and sent it to the PC. We can then view the interleaved image on the PC using video capturing software. Let's first look at the hardware setup. First, you will need an FX3 hardware development kit which can be purchased online or through your local distributors. Next, you will need to build your own dual image sensor daughter board based on your sensor of choice. On the back side of the board, make sure you have a SimTech connector that can be made with the G52 connector on the FX3 TVK board. Once the kit is connected to the PC, let's program FX3 with 3D imaging firmware. This can be done using USB Control Center, which comes as a part of the FX3 software development kit. For more information on writing your own 3D imaging firmware, please read our application note online. Once the programming is completed, let's launch a video capturing software to view the live video. As you can see, here we have a monochromatic image from two video streams. The 2M sensor produces a stereoscopic image that creates the perception of depth. This image can be used for post-processing by PC software to track finger, eyeball, and object movements in 3D space.